Well, with free software, a lot of people take the word free and think that the software is without cost or perhaps even without value. And my talk was about people who want to write free software, free as in freedom, and want to make money at it, want to make a living at it. And I wanted to show them that they not only could make a living at it, but what are the proper ways of pricing their services to be able to get enough money to not only live comfortably, but even uh, put some money aside to fund other projects that they want to work on, not just projects that they're paid to work on. And I think that the campus has really appreciated this because a lot of them are very technical, but really have never given any thought to the business side of software. Well, I've been to many campus parties. I've been to about five or six of them in Spain and four of them in Brazil and some in Mexico and some in various other countries. And I really think it's a great event because it brings together a lot of really smart people, really enthusiastic people. They get to share ideas. They get to see which other person, what the other people are doing. And they get to listen to speakers uh, who may be able to lend them a certain amount of expertise in, in f from experience in doing things. So I think it's an, it's an excellent opportunity. And certainly, I mean, for the, for the amount of money that's charged for admission, it's, I don't see how you could possibly do any better. Um, I really like the campus there. It's really friendly and outgoing. And the weather is beautiful here in Germany, and a lot of them are going barefoot around and stuff, and it's, it's fun. Well, it all depends on the campus areas themselves. Uh, sometimes they hear something which sparks an interest in them, or they see something that they haven't given any thought to before, and they go off and they do something. One of the people that's here at the event actually started his own Linux distribution at the age of 12 and a half, and now at the ripe old age of 17, has his own company for giving support to that. Uh, very, very bright kid, very nice, personable person. You know, he's very outgoing. And I think that he acts as an inspiration to other campus heroes that say, hey, you can do anything you want to. Well, to the campus heroes that are here, I'd say just keep talking and, and don't just sit in front of your, you know, your laptop the whole time. Go around and see what other people are doing and, and go and talk with the presenters. Um, a lot of these people are not here because they're paid money to come here or anything. They're paid because they wanted to come here and they wanted to see you and talk with you. So don't be afraid about going up there and asking them the really tough questions. I, I certainly have had enough tough questions asked to me today. And, uh, and for the people that are not here, the campus heroes that are not here, why not? Why aren't you here? You know, you should come on and... Uh, there's still time to show up and, and enjoy a little bit of Campus Party Europe.